All right, I wanted to go over some oil pan stuff. So a lot of people, they've heard the term dry sump and they don't, they're not really sure what that even means. But basically there's, a, there's an oil pump on the engine that's driven by a belt and it's external. The oil pump is not inside the engine or in the oil pan. It sucks the oil out of these and it doesn't just suck them out of the edge of the pan. They're plumbed all the way to here. So they're sucking here, here, and back here. So any of the oil that's coming off the crankshaft that's going into the pan gets sucked out of the pan and back into a tank. And then that tank feeds another stage of the pump that puts pressure into the engine. This piece right here goes in the pan. This lip actually goes under the lip of the pan, but just to show you. And this is called a crank scraper. It doesn't literally crank, uh, scrape the crank, obviously. But as the crank rotates, it sends the oil through this screen. And then that's why there's this uh, kick out on the pan. So the oil has, it goes through the screen and then it hits this dead air space up in here. And then just drops down into this area here. And then the pickups suck the oil back. And so that's hence dry sump. So the sump, the oil, the oil pan, which is the sump is not really where the oil is lubricating the engine. It's all actually being sucked out of here. Uh, there's far fewer oil pan bolts used. Uh, every other one of these is just plugged. But you ask, so on this side, how in the heck do you get the pan bolts in, especially once this guy is in the way? Um, so, so this is actually under there when it's in. This will be lipped under there and I actually need to repair this because it's broken right there the crank scraper screen is but what I want to show you is you actually have to go through these holes that's what these three plugs are you got to reach up through those holes from the bottom with an extension and the studs these three studs right here and you got to get the nut to put the oil pan on. So yeah, you have to actually reach up through the middle of the oil pan, those three spots and get nuts in. So, that, so there's actually uh, the nuts that hold the oil pan on are inside the oil pan on that side. It's kind of a pain, honestly, considering I was welding something that felt like it had the integrity of a gum wrapper. I think that actually turned out okay.